Welcome back to my channel. The price is right. Come on down. Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole Sierra. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome to my house. Sorry I didn't clean. Today's video is going to be on this one eyeshadow look that I did right here. This eyeshadow look is just one shadow using the Daisy Marquez with her collab with BH Cosmetics. And I use this shade right here, Karma. And then I also show the rest of my face and the products that I use to get this look. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, go ahead and keep on watching and let's get right into the video. These are the shades that Daisy created and I love Daisy. She's such a sweetheart and she's amazing at makeup. She's so beautiful. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dip that shade into Karma right here. It's super vibrant and I love the color. So I kind of started in the middle so most of the pigment ends up in the middle and you don't want too much pigment and like super harsh up here. You want like the lightest pressure, the lightest touch closer you get into your inner part of your eye and then also a little lighter touch on the outside. And eventually I take it down all over my lid and then I kind of connect right here. I kind of just keep on blending all around the edges and into the inner corner. So you can tell like right away just dipping into it once the shadow is super pigmented and it definitely gives you a bright shade You don't have to bring it as high up into the brow You could just keep it, you know, a little more simple less like dramatic type of look I'm gonna be putting lashes on so it won't look as dramatic around the crease of my eye I'm just going to stamp it in there and then Again, blend and build up the color into the crease a little heavier. Okay, so now the eyes are done. I just put liner on. So I did the wing, wing. And then after I literally did the wing, I literally just take a little flat brush that I use to conceal my brows and then cut it. So then you end up with a really sharp wing and a sharp eyeshadow look. I have so many baby hairs. Like if you guys really knew how many baby hairs I had, do you guys have this many baby hairs? Cause like, I, I just don't understand. Like I'm not a baby anymore. I'm gonna be using the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and this in the shade Teville. Especially when I don't have a mirror nearby. So far, this has been coming in handy. I really need new Netflix recommendations. But so far... I was gonna ask you, do you think that that blue uh, shirt with the deer on it is okay? Deer? Yeah, you know, the blue one, the fresh shirt. No, I don't know. I need more detail. It's like a leather deer. No, I'm talking about... No? Okay, I'll send you a picture of it. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Next, I'm just going to conceal also using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one is my favorite concealer, I think, that I have in my entire collection of concealers. And the reason why I personally like this one the most is super creamy, number one, but also like the radiance that it really has in comparison to the way other concealers dry down is really pretty. And I think the way that it sits on my skin, especially having dry skin, I really do like the way this one brightens. And the shade of this one, the shades that they have, I think just are better undertones overall. Next, I'm going to bronze using my favorite bronzer, the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. I'm also still trying to figure out my butter bronzer, which I love and also definitely recommend for a drugstore bronzer. I'm trying to figure out if it's breaking me out. I always end up having like tiny little... Okay, that was a lot. That's what I get for testing out a new brush, like when I'm trying to like go somewhere. One day I was sent to the ER and I'm convinced was my butter bronzer. <laughs> it sounds really excessive. I'm gonna use this ColourPop small fluff brush and this is with the Desi and Katie collection. But this brush, you need this brush, this is the ColourPop small fluff brush. But this brush will give you the most blinding highlight of all time. Just the way that it's like super dense. For blush, I'm gonna be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trio and this is in the color Peachy Love. And I'm going to be mixing this one right here and the orangey one. Fuck it, all of them. I'm just gonna do all of them. A little da 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 da. Ooh, that's pretty with the eyes. I'm in love. So I just did the lip off camera and I used this highly um, liquid lip in the shade Autumn along with the lip liner and the fussy Fenty gloss over the top of it. I really liked how this look turned out surprisingly. Like at first I was like, oh, oh like this one shadow thing isn't looking too hot for me. But after this whole look put together, especially like the liner, the lashes, these lashes are the style saucy from Baddie B Lashes. And yeah, I really like the way everything turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys like try to recreate something similar with this whole one eyeshadow look. And if not, I just hope like like you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, mm, mm, I love you. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.